Peace for PA by the Thunder Meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your Outlook for February 26th, 2018. For your Monday, stall this frontal boundary that's going to be uh, off to our southeast. We're going to start off with some morning clouds uh, for the interior. It's going to be less of a time that you see those clouds decrease, but further southeast, they're going to hold on a little bit longer. So we're clearing today from northwest to southeast, and then skies will gradually become mostly sunny as high pressure builds in, and this front continues off to the south. Now, this is not a cold front with a big push of cold air behind it. We don't have that at all. In fact, we're going to be mild over the next couple days, but we do have the opportunity to dry out. Uh, Monday through Wednesday, and then we have another late week system where it's going to be, present some serious headaches for us, it looks like, uh, and, and that we'll, be, deal, we'll dealing, be dealing with on Thursday and Friday, it looks like, from this week. So moving ahead forward from this point, uh, we have this uh, high pressure moving in, and you can see that here overnight tonight, and so we'll become mostly sunny later today, mostly clear overnight, and that settles right over top of the region on Thursday, so we're mostly sunny on, or excuse me, on Tuesday, mostly sunny on Tuesday, but we're going to remain mild for the next couple of days while it, uh, temperatures in the 50s. Uh, maybe nearing 60 in some places by the time we get to Wednesday, especially down here by Philadelphia as that high pressure moves off the coast. And uh, we will be partly cloudy, it looks like, on Wednesday. Starting off mostly sunny, becoming partly cloudy later in the day, and then increasing clouds overnight. And then we have this system on Thursday that's going to be moving in that's going to bring showers to the region. And this is uh, late Wednesday night. Some showers are already starting to break out. Uh, showers are going to be continuing on th during the day here on Thursday. Now, what this is going to be doing is you're going to have a system, primary system, strong primary system, cutting to our west. And uh, everywhere, everywhere, no matter what, is going to start off as rain with a system. We know that. All right. Uh, this system is going to be forced to redevelop to a secondary area low pressure somewhere along in the mid-Atlantic here uh, or over the Delmarva and it's going to go up like this just south of Long Island it looks like and continue up to the north uh, and that's because in response to a blocking pattern it's over the top here there's a block up here where it can't go anywhere so it's forced to redevelop uh, while that strong block is in place and uh, if, when that happens this secondary will be allowed to take over as the new primary and will ra likely rapidly deepen. Now, this is a concern, not so much from the snow aspect of things, because everybody's worried about snow and how much snow we're going to get. While the models are trending away from that uh, more recently over the weekend, the, the runs over the weekend have been trending away from the snow idea, uh, but that is not does not mean the snow cannot happen with this. It just means we need to wait till about Tuesday morning, I think. A Tuesday morning model runs will probably key in on areas that, uh, will, or at least for the evolution of the system, what it's going to do. And that's because those pieces that are responsible for the system or making the system up uh, will not come fully on shore. One of those pieces will come on shore today. The next one will be on Tuesday morning. So we'll be able to see uh, a better evolution on the model guidance of what's going to happen. But the idea here is that this transfers to a system offshore. And uh, that wraps up just south of Long Island here. Now, in this situation, you're going to have some pretty high winds uh, Thursday night and Friday as this system gets wrapped up here and caught underneath that block. You could also have some dynamically induced cooling uh, because there's an upper level low presence. So some parts of uh, New England and uh, maybe northern Pennsylvania, especially the areas of elevation, could get into a rain to snow situation and that real thick, heavy, uh, pasty type snow that you'd be dealing with with this. Uh, so we're going to have to watch that closely. That is uncertain if that happens yet. We have to wait and see how that works out. And this is not something that, well, if it tracks further south and more areas are getting snow further southeast. This is not that kind of system. This kind of system uh, involves drawing cold air from the upper levels and bringing it down to the surface. That's what dynamic cooling is. And, and uh, that upper level uh, upper level low that is present will help to provide that. But it's going to meet, you need a really deepened uh, system to, uh, off, offshore here in order for that to happen. So we're going to see how this evolves and see if that does in fact take place. And you can see this hasn't doesn't really move much by Friday morning. But you see these ice bars so close together. This is indicating a very windy uh, Friday morning at least, maybe most of Friday it looks like it's going to be pretty windy also. And uh, you see this rapidly rapidly deepening low offshore that is uh, allowing those winds to uh, to really increase uh, up here in New England. So I think that's going to be your biggest impact. It's going to be the winds, the heavy rain uh, that's involved with this, the coastal flooding, beach erosion. This is so close to the coast where the center of low pressure is, at least in this image. So hopefully this is not the case 
and the models start trending away from this idea. This could be uh, propose some issues along the New Jersey and Delaware coastlines, especially. Uh, but you can see the, there's no cold here. The cold's still up north, so any cold that comes into the system or any snow would have to be dynamically induced and in where the heaviest precipitation is. And if you can draw that uh, heavy heavy precipitation down from, or the cold from the upper levels in order to change that from rain to snow, that still has to be worked out and whether or not we're going to see that in our area or not. We don't know that yet. Okay, so just follow us for the next couple of days. We'll get a better idea in the coming days of what's going to end up happening. Uh, but then as this system does slowly pull away here Friday night and Saturday, still going to be mo still going to be windy here uh, straight through Saturday morning. It looks like according to this model anyway, and uh, winds will start to diminish. We're going to have a nice weekend. It looks like so Saturday and Sunday should be dry, uh, but with diminishing winds after that uh, windy start Saturday morning. Uh, so we're just going to, again, just focus on this system here on the at the end of the week. The next couple of days, though, are dry and mild. And then we'll see what happens with this end-of-week storm here uh, as far as impacts locally to our area. I'm um, Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marcher. That is your outlook for February 26th, 2018. Have a great Monday.